Greetings Marines, Fayot here and today unorthologically we will be boarding this Vesda. Yes, that's the pew pew plasma rifle that I've been shedding on since it came into the game. Now guys, I don't really like this thing, okay? It doesn't have enough oomph for me, but the numbers don't lie. Modded optimally and with optimal perks, this thing is the highest non-crit DPS weapon in the game. It really is. It's mathematics. But there is always the element of personal preference and whether or not you like some utility or just raw DPS, how you handle your approach. This is a very low stumble chance gun and it really needs to be on point with a long stream of, well, I won't say bullets, pellets in order to get to that optimal DPS range. The way I remod it today is to my liking what i try to do is get it to fire as quick as possible and optimize its per pellet damage to get both some sort of consistency and as much fast damage as i can get out of it you don't have to agree with this specific modding type you can just find the spreadsheet online and follow whatever path you prefer in order to make this thing work for you if you can make it work but you're here because you probably want my opinion so i'm gonna give it to you let's get to it so this is the zvizd plasma rifle bit here's what we're using we go recoil booster for fire rate and stability and now this is a small muzzle it's not a medium so i cannot use assault break and um the 20% fire rate is really, really important. Like this gun lives and dies by its fire rate. Stability is very important because it kicks upwards like a mule. So you really want the stability in here. For internal mag, I was running flared bridge, 20% fire rate and 30% max ammo. Now, if you don't run a Rico, you need this max ammo because this thing has a magazine capacity of 20 and fires like a hose. You'll be right out of ammo in no time. But here I go, combat actuator is 25% fire rate and 4% handling plus 3% stability on hit for 5 seconds, stacking 5 times. That will make it a 20% handling and 15% stability added on top of everything else. Now, handling, remember, is not only for swapping weapons, but for ADSing as well. So we already have a 15 flat here. And if we add on top of this the 20% that comes with this buff, because let's face it five pellets out of this thing is nothing it's gonna trigger every single time you start firing you can have a gun that will be reloaded and then be ready for action adsing asap after every interaction with the reload button now for medium optics hear me out i went hybrid although i don't like the 50 percent zoom magnification i like the handling here that's the 15 percent i was talking about the accuracy is good because it's gonna make the pellets go in a tighter cone but what i really want here is the 10 percent damage and 10 percent fire rate uh, modifiers because 10 percent damage is 10.1 damage per bullet because the damage profile states 101 but this thing is extremely fast firing i'm going to demonstrate here with zero gun perks as you can see i'm going to demonstrate how fast it fires and that is with the minus 10 percent fire rate okay so if i keep moving whilst firing It is slightly faster, but you lose that 10% damage per bullet. I will try to fire it now with overclock on. Listening to how it sounds, it tells you one thing. The fire rate for this thing is pretty much capped. Okay. There is only so much hosing you can do in this game. So, if overclock's not gonna get you a lot of mileage out of this thing, 
you might as well get every pellet to perform as well as possible and deal as much pain as possible. That's what I'm really going for here with Hybrid Optics. It fires extremely fast. And because we can't really make it fire that much faster, let's try to make each one of these pellets hit as hard as possible. This way, I was able to find great success with this thing. It's not going to outperform the Kramer, the Pulse, or the recently researched Type 88. But uh, I kind of believe a bit more in this thing right now. There's been some tweaking, there's been some buffing, there's been some overall performance enhancement for certain weapons throughout the last few months, and I didn't really pay much attention to each and every single gun, especially those I didn't like, and the Zvezda is one of them. I like pew pew stuff, I like Gundam and shit, but this really didn't scratch the itch. It felt like a purple water gun to me. I don't know if that's understandable, but the way I approach it now, it is viable. Just make sure you hit your target because the success or failure of this thing lies in the fact that there's a lot of bullets or a lot of pellets coming out of the hose. If most of them land, or if all of them land, you're on your way to deal some pretty nice DPS. Also, notice that the weak point damage of this thing starts at 200. There is an argument to be made about modding it for crit, but that's another story. And I had a suggestion about my friend uh, Synergy here to make a comprehensive guide of every guns optimal dps that's gonna be a huge undertaking i don't know if i'm gonna do all that but i could go in between the assault rifles and give you a numeric explanation of what to expect when using them and modding them optimally so this is vesda guys i hope you found this vid informative and useful we are here streaming three times a week Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Sub, like, and share, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified about uploads and said streams. And if you really, really want to help me out, consider Patreon or get a membership here on YouTube. It really helps tremendously. Until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always over perfection, Marines. Geos.